got some great soup ideas for you. I'll bet you've never heard of chilled avocado, avocado and grapefruit soup. Well, we're going to prepare that for you with the help of James Walsh, who's the executive chef at the Stouffer Madison Hotel at Pregos. Please give him a Seattle today. How are you doing? Fine, Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Whoa, well, I don't know. We're really taking a chance, aren't we? Chilled avocado and grapefruit soup. Is that right? That's it. Holy mackerel. Well, we got plenty of avocados here. There's mm -hmm. a grapefruit. Let's go to work. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We got good weather. We had, yeah, well, we're. Yeah. So I hear this morning anyway. It's kind of been weird this summer. We had so many clouds, but. Uh, um, well, the first thing you've got to do is pick out an avocado, of course. I think that's avocado. pretty obvious. Right. And uh, the avocado should be nice and soft, not too hard, of course, but mm -hmm. if it's too soft, don't take it. Okay. And the proper way to open an avocado is to cut it all the way around like that. Yeah. Separate it like that. See, this one is a little on the bad side. You can use this for soup. You shouldn't use it for salad. Okay. You can use it for soup. It's not actually bad. It's just... A little bruise there. At the end. It's uh, overripe. So you can cut that off. Okay. Doesn't mean you have to throw it out. Okay? Mm-hmm. Then you take the, uh, actually to take the, the stone out sometimes can be a problem. So the best way to do that is just stick a knife in it like that. Okay. Twist it and take it out. Where do you put it? You put it back there. I always think of uh, George Burns' uh, great line in Oh God, I made, I made one mistake as God. I made the pits of avocados too big. Don't you agree? Yeah. Well, we got around that. Yeah. So, that's, so don't use them in the soup and you'll be all right. Okay. So you take the uh, flesh out of the avocado, which is actually going to be the base of the soup and it's going to bind the whole thing together. Okay. It's really just something that's just pureed together, and there's no cooking to be done. This is wonderful for people who don't particularly like to cook. However, they have a machine to deal with, which can be very unpredictable, as we All may right. find out over okay, here. Okay, well, we're just going to use a regular old blender for this. So huh? this is a blender which you find anywhere, especially in blender shops. I've got one in my car, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Yes, and, or uh, in blender shops, sure. Um, another point about avocados is that uh, if you use a lemon, which I have here, if you're going to... Make an avocado salad, for instance, uh, and you're going to leave the avocado out for about an hour, so avocados turn brown. So the lemon helps it keeps it colored. So the lemon keeps it. Uh, it also gives it a nicer taste, to be honest. Okay. So if you're making a little salad before your guests come up and you want to put it in the fridge because you don't want to spend your time in the kitchen, just sprinkle a little lemon juice over the avocado and it will stay nice and green. Good. <laughs> or yellow. So put that in there. You put all your avocado in there. And if... Uh, in the process of turning on the blender, you've changed your mind. You've probably got some nice guacamole, don't you? I certainly do, yeah. Okay, so when, water. Okay. When, when do we uh, turn on the old blender? We don't you got to blend this together. You're going to take care of that? Okay, Good. sure. I'll do this one. Got to just change the speeds here. Yeah. This yeah. is fast up here. Slow down here. See, See I knew this was going to happen. You know what happens when this happens? I just pick up the whole thing and shake it. Okay. And after a while... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. After a while, you'll get whoa. all the avocado into the blade. That's his blender. <laughs> oh, that's all right. See, oh. see it, it works. It that's probably it. will as a one-time blender-only kind of proposition. But by golly, most of it's... Uh... Well, the action really starts happening when you put the, uh, the grapefruit Oops. juice and the... Uh... You got two kinds of grapefruit juice? Yeah, no, this is a uh, chicken stock here. Oh, I see. This is grapefruit juice. Uh, oh, it's pink grapefruit juice. Yes. Okay, put that in there. Whoa, what a combination. Put about huh? a cup of that in there. Ooh, and chicken stock. <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> almost shamefully easy. Grapefruit juice, chicken stock, and avocado. So, what, what with the audience, the audience is becoming, the, what? Chicken stock. This is chicken stock. Chicken stock. Yeah. yeah. You want a straw? No, never yeah. mind. Okay. You ready? Okay, now we go can ahead. go ahead and do this. This will get everything going. Oh, look at this. Whoa. There you go. Let's see. Ah. You know, Jim, I think we need just a little more of this, you know? There we go. All right. It's really Actually, good. what you need is a little more of this. <laughs> I don't know about this. I like grapefruits and I like avocados, but in the same recipe, mm, don't the forget the chicken. And the chicken stock. Okay. So you turn it on again. Right. There you go. What a sound. This is the most difficult part of this, believe me. Okay, so our soup is almost ready. We need a little more chicken stock. soup is almost ready. <laughs> I, I think it's cooked, is it? Yes, yeah, sure. It's uh, <laughs> piping hot. One more shot. One more how, shot. Now, how much, you know, you're just sort of putting this stuff in there. You're just trying, looking for consistency. We're not worried, yeah. about, we're not worried about measurements here. Though. Well, you need a kind of basic measurement, and the basic measurement is about uh, a cup of uh, chicken stock and a cup of grapefruit. Okay. If you need a little more or a little less, you just use it. All right. And the soup is made. 
Actually, have, have any of you ever had something like this before? You forgot to put the salt in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we don't need to blend the salt, huh? No, no, no. Mix it up. Very bad for the machine. I'll to tell you, it looks beautiful. It Actually, looks beautiful. that's a very good point because it does look really nice. And you can, mm -hmm. this is kind of like a salad. You can uh, prepare it before the people come up. And there's lots of little things you can do to decorate it. And the color is nice. What we do is we use a little uh, whipped cream, just plain whipped mm -hmm. cream. Really? Put it in the middle. Now, wait a minute. Now, right now, we're this up is to not a rich whipped soup. cream, grapefruit juice, avocados, and chicken stock. Yeah. Wow. What a, and, this you know, I, I can see that guest who comes over for dinner who doesn't quite get the concept, and you put this in front of them, and they're looking for the chips, you know, the, exactly. and, the, and the picante sauce. No, 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 no. You missed the point. Yeah. Now you're putting some, what, red peppers on this top of this? This is little chopped red bell peppers, which is really just for color. Okay. Chives. Chives, all right. That sure does look elegant. Okay. A little paprika. All right. On top, and then we do top it with a little crab. This oh, is nice. crab! Dungeness crab from our own home state here. I like the idea. Oh, on top of the whipped cream. On top of the whipped cream. Yeah. You can also put a little nasturtium in there. I don't <laughs> know if flour, anybody... of course. This is a long recipe. It's getting long. Yes. Stop, uh, me. You, you... <laughs> stop me soon. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll be going for and a little. Uh, oh, some cherries. There you go. Just throw in a. Uh... So it does look nice. Okay, it, it tastes great. That? Isn't that beautiful? All right. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. How about a, uh, a taste tester? Yeah. Uh, you're you're going to be you gonna be our, our, our scientific taste bud person here today. See if you like this. You get a little bit of the flour in there, too? <laughs> By the way, what is your name? Tyrene. Tyrene. Okay. Think of this as a soup, Tyrene. Okay. okay. Go ahead. It's <laughs> hmm. good. I didn't expect it to be because I wasn't really sure about this. Yeah. <laughs> I know live television is really kind of frightening sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, if you like it well enough, take it back to your seat and enjoy it in the studio audience. Sure. Okay, great. She's very brave. Really Thank good. you, Tyreen. <laughs> now, we didn't have time to, to prepare these, but just a couple other cold soup ideas were. What's on the end there? This is a burgundy cherry soup with a Bur mascarpone cheese in the middle. Burgundy cherry soup. Wow. And what is this right here? This is a gazpacho, a seafood gazpacho. Everybody pretty much knows seafood gazpacho. Seafood gazpacho, gazpacho, sure. And then the one on the end here? And this is a vichyssoise, which we changed a little bit. Um, okay. And we put a sweet potato vichyssoise. Really? Real nice, yeah. Boy, talk about it. We ran a little things. competition, and all the cooks came up with different... Uh, cold soup items. Cold soups, yeah. So this one is Sherry's, this one is David's, and this one is Anne Hoisington's. Okay, so well, Sherry, I told David, them I and mentioned Anne, their thank name. you so much. <laughs> And if you want to have any of these over the summertime, if you're from out of town or if you're in, from in town and would like to go down to Prego's, you can get them. Or you can write us for the chilled avocado and grapefruit soup, which is at Summer Soups, Seattle Today, Post Office Box 9867, Seattle, Washington, 98109. Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope, and we'll send that recipe right out to you, courtesy of James Walsh from the store for Madison. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job. Back right after this. Stay with us.